Hi, I'm Rebecca. And I'm James. And we are renovating a 98 Bluebird school bus named Orgo. So we got the name Orgo. He is actually a monster in the Marvel Universe. He's from an old Strange Tales drawn by Jack Kirby. We're both huge comic book comic book fans yep. comic comic book fans and I specifically love monsters so it kind of worked out we were trying to think of a name something good something that fit our style our personality and he was like what about Orgo and I'm like yeah what about Orgo we did spend an entire con looking for every appearance of Orgo we did and so. we have actually we have the original is that I mean it's not like the first printing because that would be awesome but it's a, a second a later printing of strange tales that we're gonna frame oh, yeah, yeah. for the bus we're gonna have a whole orgo wall <laughs> anyway currently right now I we live in Kansas City I am a voiceover artist I guess for um, the alternative radio station in Kansas City meaning like I do the concert promotions they send me concert lineup I write it voice it produce it it airs and then also, I do, what else do I do? <laughs> I, I build websites and do graphic for different companies. And then in my free time, I am an artist. So I like to draw, I do things, um, comic books in my free time, a lot of art, I'm gonna show some now. I am doing some freelance work and doing some gig work, that kind of thing. Um, I was in IT for about 15 years, got a little burnout on it, and so part of the bus thing for me is getting to travel, do some photography, and kind of explore some things outside of you know what I've previously done with my career and, and life in general. Right. So we started talking about van life maybe like two-ish years ago. He brought it up. Um, I wasn't on board immediately. Like I loved the ideas. I loved watching the videos. But for me, I was like, I think I need a place to live where I can stand up. And in a van, that's just not very possible or very limited depending on the van you have. So I would say probably like six months after we had kind of talked about it, I came across schoolie videos and I was like, hey, I can stand up in a school bus. <laughs> so I took him up to Beer Station, which is a local Kansas City spot that's awesome, delicious beer. If you're ever in Kansas City, go there. Um, and I proposed the idea and we kind of came to a compromise. He's like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Financially, it also made more sense though, because yeah. buses are relatively cheap, as most of you guys know at this point, or if you don't, they are, look them up. And yeah, so we were like, let's do this. Let's, because a big part of it was financial freedom for us. Yeah. Um, we wanted to stop paying rent. We live in an awesome neighborhood right now, but it's just rent going, money going down the drain every month. And then with all the student loan debt and everything that we've occurred over our life, um, we decided we kind of want to get some financial freedom. And I think that's a lot of reason why yeah. people do this. And yeah. it's one of the biggest reasons we're yeah. doing it. Besides the travel. The traveling. Traveling is also huge. Yeah. We love going on road trips. <laughs> so. Also, another reason is uh, to downsize. So I lived in Georgia most of my life. Moved to Nebraska and moved all of my stuff, including a huge comic collection and stuff. toy collection. <laughs> and, Various other things. Uh, I'm gonna just, do a pan of your comic book collection so everybody can see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, carrying that stuff now down to Kansas City when I moved here, it was just, I, I don't wanna do this anymore. I wanna be able to, you know, up and move to a new city or travel and just always stay on the move. And so, just simplifying things. Yeah, that's a big part of it. So, we also have two pups that are joining us. And this is Keegan. Kegers. Keegs. This is Keegan. This is Isley Bear. Isley. Isley. Hi, buddy. Um, they're half Dachshund, half Rhodesian Ridgebacks. They're sisters. And they are pretty friggin' awesome. So, really excited to have them along on the journey with us. That was another reason why we got 
decided to get a bus, have a little bit more room for these guys to hang out. How oh, ready? So, like we said, we started seriously thinking about doing van life probably about a year ago. And then we did a bunch of garage sales last summer. We did like eight. It was an ongoing joke for between our friends because we were just doing garage sales every weekend. <laughs> it's kind of obnoxious to downsize. Um, and through that, we saved up quite a bit of money, but then life happened, plans got put on hold. And then this, at the beginning of June, we went on a road trip to Colorado to visit my family. And then on the way back, we were stopping in Rocky Mountain National Park to do some hiking and see some awesome scenery. And right before we entered the mountains and I lost service, I got a phone call from a cop and he was like, hey, your car's been totaled. And I was like, oh boy, <laughs> that's not great. Um, so what happened was, and I'm not a huge believer in fate, but this is pretty weird. Like, listen to these circumstances. So normally I would park in our driveway, but our neighbors behind us have a sinkhole. And they were going to need to get through our backyard while we were gone. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just park in the street, which is actually, like, really common around where we live. Like, I could show you the road now. People park in the street. It's the thing people do. And we also live on a one-way. Yeah. So, um... But what happened was, so I parked on the street so they could access our backyard, and while I was parked there, somebody came rushing down the wrong way. Um, they were having a medical emergency, crashed into my car. I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of it. Um, and just completely, like, it was obliterated. Like, front end smashed, back end smashed. It was, so yeah, we kind of took that, like, right before we went up to the mountains to see all this awesome stuff. It was kind of like, oh, that's unfortunate. Then on the way out of the mountains, after you know we had seen the beautiful land, we were like, hmm, well this could present an opportunity for us to uh, make this happen. To make this happen. So we ended up taking the person at insurance, the money that I would normally get to buy a car, and we bought a bus. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing now. And it's kind of weird. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, you can definitely like it. I recommend liking it. <laughs> um, you can also subscribe. We plan on doing videos probably once or twice a week during our renovation and then once we start traveling vlogging. But we already have a video up about the seat removal process so you can kind of see how we did it and maybe get some ideas if you're looking to do it or, you know, things like that. Yeah. Um, floor removal coming soon. Uh, and then we have a wiring one in the works that actually you're definitely gonna watch that one because <laughs> we think we made some mistakes whenever not sure yet not sure yet but we're still in the process of figuring it out but yeah hopefully so, we can uh, just share what we learned that's every bus is a little bit different right and so maybe this bus is more similar to one that you're looking at or that you're working on and right so yeah like, subscribe, and you can follow us on Instagram at Orgo the Bus. Bye. Bye. Thanks.